Hello guys, welcome back to Tutoring with Abdul. Uh, in today's session, we'll be talking about the exclusively, exclusively NOR gate or the exclusive NOR gate. Uh, or in short term, we uh, often call that XNOR gate. <clears throat> Earlier uh, in this course, we talked about the... We started from the gates uh, when we... The first gate we discussed was AND gate, when then we went to OR gate. Hmm. NAND gate, NOR gate. Recently, we talked about XOR gate or exclusively OR gate, and um, we did some two input, three input, and four input XOR gate, and we discussed the truth table of that. Uh, hopeful, hopefully, they they all they were all easier, and they was just manageable. Uh, today, we'll move on to the XNOR gate or exclusively NOR gate. From the name we see, uh, there is OR gate involved, and also it is NOR gate. Kind of give you an idea, and that says exclusive, so there might be a exception, or there might be a way, hey, it's not a NOR gate, or it's not even exclusively OR gate. Or. So let's talk about them, <laughs> what, is that, what does that actually mean? The exclusive NOR gate, <laughs> gate is a sometimes referred to as an XNOR gate for short because exclusive we just select XNOR gate <clears throat> so moving on to the logic symbol of the XNOR gate since we said uh, uh, we remember the XOR gate symbol uh, we talked about that earlier so they were kind of similar to the egg they were let's see if I can draw it Okay. Okay, so X or gate was this. <clears throat> so this was the X or gate uh, is the same exact symbol. This is our output. This is our input. So XOR gate uh, logic symbol was kind of this one. Since XNOR gate, that means exclusively not OR gate. So that was exclusively OR. If you want to make that inverted to not, you will just have to add a bubble right here. That's inverting bubble or inverted bubble. So that will make it X, XNOR gate. Uh, uh, Without this bubble, that will be X or gate. So that's how we got that symbol, which will be right here. Where A and B are our inputs, Y is our output, we can call it Y. Or you can even say it's like A, exclusively B, exclusively Nord with B. That will be the uh, Boolean symbol of that, um, Boolean expression. <laughs> A exclusively, uh, exclusively Nord with B. Uh, that uh, together this will be saying that way. If it is no 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 bar on that will be, uh, that will be saying A is exclusively Ord with B. But since there's an inverting bar on there, that will be exclusively Nord with input B. It'll give me output Y. <clears throat> so. Uh, let's say it's logic symbol for okay so it's a logic symbol for x or gate but only inverted bubble is added to the output side right there so same thing with the x or x or logic symbol but there is an inverted bubble is added there okay moving on to the boolean expression for x nor gate we already said about the boolean expression <laughs> the x or boolean expression is a exclusively or with B since X nor is exclusively not or gate and the X or A exclusively or will have a bar above it since it's inverted it's up it's a it's not this one so for not this one we will just have a bar above that that will become X exclusively nor gate Okay, 
So A is exclusively Nord with input B. That means that word right there, that what I, that's what I said. Input A is exclusively Nord with input B to yield output Y. So that's a Boolean expression for the XNOR gate. Uh, moving on to the XNOR gate truth table, we will discuss in this example only two inputs. So the output of a XNOR gate will be low only when the odd numbers of inputs are high. If we remember something, in XOR gate we say the output of a uh, XOR gate will be high only when the odd number of inputs are high. So the XOR gate will have an output of XOR gate will be only high when the odd, odd numbers of inputs are high. But since XNOR gate is the inverted of XOR gate, so that will be the output of XNOR gate will be low only when the odd number of inputs are high. So they're exactly similar. If you know XOR, you probably figure out that XNOR gate because that is just an inversion of that uh, XOR gate. So we got two input uh, XNOR gate. That's XNOR gate, exclusively NOR gate. We got an inverting bubble and we got an output right there. So just to examine how the truth table look like, you have four conditions since there's two inputs. If input A is low and input B is low, if that was a X or gate, we will we would have input A low and input B low, our output would be low. But X or X nor is inverted of X or so our output will be high. So if input A and input B both are low, the output and X nor gate will be high. So we will have one in an output. If your input A is zero and input B is one, or input A is low and input one is uh, input B is high, so the output will be low, because we said the odd it will be only uh, high when the even numbers are up or high or on. Even numbers of inputs are on. So that's how we will determine. With that XOR gate, we will, we had like XOR gate, the output will be only high when the odd numbers of inputs are high. So XOR would be high here and here only. But it's opposite. XNOR gate is just exactly opposite of XOR gate. So if input zero, A is zero, input B is one, the output will be low. But if input A is one and input B is zero, the output will be st still zero. I think I said it wrong. If input A is low and input B is high or one, the output Y will be zero or low. And if input A is high or one and input B is zero or low, the output will be still low. Or zero but if the both both the inputs are on the output will be on in this condition because it's the exact opposite of x or gate so that was the x or gate two inputs now we will go to the x three input x nor boolean expression and truth table <coughs> so we got a same as an x or gate but we got a bubble inverted bubble that will make it a x nor gate we got A, B, C as an input, Y as an output. So that will be our Boolean expression. We would say input A is XNORed with input B and that's XNORed with input C to yield output Y. We can call that any output, Y, D, anything that's not here. So we can say like, no, it's very distinguished output there. This is logic symbol for XNOR gate, three inputs. Now let's see like the truth table for the uh, XNOR gate with three inputs. So there we be, will be, we have a almost, we got three inputs, we will have eight conditions there. Let's say if, if our input C is low and our input B is low and our input A is low. If they're all low, our output will be just think about it. 
uh, an XOR gate or exclusively OR gate, our input would be only high if we have odd numbers of inputs, odd numbers of input high. So in this case, XOR gate would be zero. And here in XOR gate, since it's in inverted XOR gate, output will be high. Okay, so if input A input C is high, input C is high, input B is low, and input A is low, the output will be low because uh, this was high, this condition was high in, A, in XOR gate, but since XOR gate is inverted of XOR gate, so the output will be opposite. Okay, so input, let's say if input C is low, input B is high, and input A is low. The output will be still zero because the odd number we said the X nor get unique conditions are the input will be the output will be low when the odd numbers of inputs are high. So these are odd, so will be and output will be low. Let's say now we have input C high, input B high but input A low the output will be in this condition high because we have a we don't have odd numbers now we have even numbers high so output will be high and you can say it in a different uh, different way since uh, in XOR there was a unique condition was the output will be only high if the odd numbers of inputs are high so that means the output was high here and here and here was low if two had even number input even odd uh, inputs are high the output would be low in XOR logic gate but since it's XNOR gate the output will be only high if you have a even numbers of input high and if there is not no input high such as this condition okay now let's move on to the fifth condition if input C input C is low input B is low but input A is high the output will be still low if input a, C is high input B is low and input A is high the output will be high because we got even number output inputs are high now let's say if input, input C is low input B is high and input A is high the output will be still high but if you have all the inputs high the output will be low so we got a <coughs> inputs only uh, the output will be only high if you are even number of inputs high or you have no inputs that is high which is right here and you have input even number input high the output will be high even number input high output will be high okay so that was it for today is x nor gate and i hope that you guys you guys get something from this video uh, if you have any question please do submit a question and please do not forget to subscribe this channel i'll be coming up with uh, some more videos about uh, uh, i'll use multi-sim to illustrate illustrate these um, gates in a uh, very practical circuits so please uh, do not get scared about these things. This should be okay. These are very interesting subjects. Until then, I'll see you guys and take care.